Um, so let's move on to my uh, bronze medal topic. Um, man, this was uh, this is really interesting. College football. Um, Baker Mayfield, um, when he goes up against Kansas, uh, they don't shake his hand, and uh, at the beginning, and he gets he gets he gets heated, and then at one point. Yeah, he scores like the fourth touchdown on him, and then he just starts. He's like screaming at him, swearing at him, saying the the f word and all that stuff, and then grabbing his crotch, just going off, not realizing the cameras are you know watching him, making sure that we can blast it on ESPN two hundred times in a day. Um, do you think this is gonna affect his Heisman uh, run? I know writers, and I know a lot of writers who are like fickle when it comes to stuff like that. And I, I, I'd love to say no, but I think it may. Um, I think at the end of the day, everybody knows who the best player in college football has been in 2017. It's been Baker Mayfield. Um, so I don't think he loses because of this. Uh, honestly, I think people have blown it to a level of um, stupidity because, look, football is a game where there's a lot of horrendous stuff said on the football field yeah. every day. Um, and we, like you said, they didn't shake his hand either. Yeah. So honestly, you know what? I whatever I say is whatever. Like it, yeah, it sucks because you see me saying uh, "f you" and grabbing my my crotch on TV. You know that's unfortunate. You know, my kids kids see that, but at the same time, you know you're out there competing. You're out there heating. Guys talking. Everybody popping mess on the field. Like the likely the to say some things. Um, and he just, he's the most famous person on the field, so he's likely to get uh, uh, the kick on him. But this is what I like. I think a lot of people uh, see that and compare it to, I've heard a lot of people like say, well, that's what Johnny Menzel used to do to like, try to compare it to. I think Johnny Menzel was an a, a amazing um, college player, mm-hmm. but I think as a quarterback, Baker Mayfield was way better, like, Pure, pure hot quarterback. So I don't like pairing. I don't like comparisons at all. But especially when it comes to that, because just feel like you see a guy talking crap, Johnny Mizzo. Yeah, you know? yeah, and uh, it's very interesting that you make the distinction. And uh, I think it's fun to talk about it really quick. Um, you're right. I think Johnny Menzel was for sure a better college quarterback. But Baker Mayfield will translate better to the pros, which is why, to me, it's a bigger deal than all the Johnny Manziel stuff because you're talking about an actual prospect. Johnny Manziel, in reality, it's kind of a short, you know, Russell Wilson type with a 10 cent head, you know? And uh, if you're gonna have a, t- you can't have a 10 cent head if you're gonna be like a Russell Wilson type. And uh, but Baker Mayfield's a bigger, stronger guy, can really throw it. This guy, we're talking about an actual, like prototypical NFL type body. And so not only is the Heisman at stake, but I think there's draft positions at stake here. You know, like teams are worried, you know, is this our guy? You see the same thing with Josh Rosen. You know, he's acting like a brat and people are like, oh, do we want to draft this kid even though he's got the golden arm? And that's the same thing with Baker Mayfield. And, you know, I, you know, for, uh, to me, we just talked about it in the last segment with the Hall of Fame. These writers are fickle. They, they are human. They, you can't help but be human. And, you know, I wouldn't want... If you're, if you're saying, oh, this is, a, this is the Heisman and there's, you know, people who want to look up to you. It's a role model situation. I don't think they're going to vote for him. I really yeah. don't. And uh, I just think that image of him grabbing his crotch, it's not going to fly. Like... You know the Heisman pose. It's like the stiff arm. It's going to be him grabbing his crotch now. Is that going to like, redo the trophy? It's not going to work like that. And I just, I don't see them picking him. I just, I see them picking someone safer. And I think he really blew it. I don't think it matters really what he does. In the end, he's toxic now, in my opinion. I don't think they're going to vote for him. What sucks is it's not like he's even a bad, a bad guy. He's not a bad teammate. It's just guys were talking crap, and so he talked crap back. Well, and he got caught. Like, I, I don't think it's much more than that. And uh, 
And honestly, I think his performance in that game spoke for itself. Like, they won 41-3. to three. They blew Kansas out. Like they were going to do it anyway. Yeah. But it's because, you know, they were talking crap. Kansas didn't back it up. So that's what happens. Um, and, like, as far as his draft stock goes, like, I don't think every be, like, a starter in the NFL. Like, he might be a pretty good backup one day. But I don't think GMs will just be like, you know what, this dude is a toxic, cancerous type of player, and we don't want him in our If Jay Cutler can continue to find work in the NFL, Baker Mayfield will be fine. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I have nothing to refute. And I was a Jay that. Cutler, like, supporter for a long time. Like, I, I was one of the only people in Chicago – that, like, tried to keep people off the cliff with Jay Cutler. But, like, if that dude could be in locker rooms, yeah, it can make them. And people, like, his face love him. Yeah, it's – he's just a hothead, and he continually does stuff. Like, when he spiked the flag at Ohio State, and he's had he just had other offenses. It reminds me of Grayson Allen. You know, it it's not about what he did. It's just the fact that he he's such a little hothead, little petulant brat who keeps continually making these same mistakes. And he's entitled enough to be in a position where he can make those mistakes. And it is kind of it, it's kind of annoying to deal with. And for to me in the NFL and for the Heisman for that matter, you want someone. It you're, it's bigger than you. You're representing something, and he doesn't have the mindset for that. I just don't think he's, but that's, that's me. But I really do think in the minds of the writers, he, he really hurt his, his stock with the Heisman. And then same with the NFL. Cause is that the guy you want leading your team? And I don't think it is, but you know, I guess that, uh, you know, I guess that wraps that up.